Gregory Communications. Look, first of all, communications. It's all about what's happening here in this aisle here, the communications aisle. Tell me about the longevity of the company. I know it's no this is, easy This is task. an interesting story. I might go on too long. Cut me off when you're bored. So in 1992, I bought a storefront operation in Bethpage. It was called By County Mailing. I know Everything that. was done by hand. There were three little old ladies in the back room stuffing envelopes. We didn't have a computer or a fax machine. Fast forward to today, we're in 25,000 square feet in the Heartland Business Park. We have 35 employees, about 600 or 700 regular customers, and we are a full integrated marketing company. Congratulations, first of all. And you had to get there by what? Vision, persever- perseverance is the number one thing in an entrepreneur, isn't it? Well, I know it's not money. So here's the deal. Failure was not an option. We were all in when we bought that little, that little shop in Beth Page. So failure was not an option. So I did not come from a business background. I'm a retired detective, so what do I know about business? So I hit the floor at By County Mailing, not understanding what a P&L was all about. All I knew was I had to show up every day and work hard, and everything else was going to take care of itself. So as things progressed over the years, printing and mailing became a commodity. And I recognized that fairly early on. And the industry was telling printers, listen, you've got to become a market solution provider, which really meant... A pressman's got to tell you he's going to do marketing, which was BS. So I said, we need to do that, but we need to do it correctly. So I actually hired people with skills before we had the revenue to support it because I did not ever want to be accused of faking it until you make it. So it was a heavy lift the first three or so years to convert us into a real agency because the lift was out of my pocket. And we were, again, once again, we were all in to get where we are today. Awesome. And what we keep doing is trying to close any of the loops, any of the holes in our wheel in terms of messaging and marketing and so forth. Matter of fact, we just now created a really big, big, big initiative. We built a 3,500 square foot TV studio in our space. And right now it's the residence space for the Donna Drake Show. Uh, we've done many interview shows. We have a green screen environment. I have several different, uh, I have a show called Ask a CEO interview series. Yes. And so we have two or three in the can now. We're doing post-production. So this is the innovative side of what I'm seeing in you, Greg. And again, kudos to you. So as you said, started off with paper. By the way, I think I was your customer in 92 with the For Sale by Owner magazine. I know for a fact yes, that was. Yes, you are. Exactly which is correct. Absolutely I remember incredible. Um, so. Hey, kudos to us for still being here and, and being persevering. I, I'll use that word again. And uh, we still have some hair, so we're good. <laughs> um, very, very, very cool. Um, the, the innovative side of what you're doing is you could have just kind of stayed there where you were in the paper side of things. I know you were doing websites, but now you go, you don't just throw a camera on something. You open up an incredible studio, which, by the way, I'll tell you, was really needed. So you filled well, the real I kind of understood that the studios on Long Island were either very small or massive. And I think ours is right in the sweet spot. I mean, I know some of the other professionals have been there already, and they've told me this is a really good thing. So now they have to come and spend some money with me to rent it, you know, because I'm waiting for them to show up. You know, thanks for the kudos, but come on, boys, bring it out. (laughs) (laughs) Believe me, you build it, they'll come, and you have the, uh, as I said, the the professional staff that'll make it happen. Uh, So tell us about the next 10 years, looking out. Well, I hope I have 10, but... I'm, I'm going to use as 20. many as I have. Uh, we're actually looking at different avenues to build the company to a bigger platform. We cut our teeth on the low-hanging fruit. We now know that we know what we're doing, and we're very good at what we do. So we are really starting to capitalize on the middle market and slightly bigger assignments because it takes just as much energy to do a bigger assignment yes, as it, it does, does a smaller assignment. So we found out that we were not maximizing what we could do in terms of revenue. So we changed our focus a bit. Uh, Matter of fact, just uh, four or five weeks ago, I brought on a a professional to occupy the business development role uh, to get us to that platform, get it to that level. And he's hit the floor running. And we're making a lot of changes from the old hand-to-mouth type operation to a more structured and process-focused organization. So our work is cleaner, smoother, much more controlled, and gets the client to where they need to be. 
much more efficient much more in efficient. a nutshell. Much. And you seem to be able to have that, and I know it's probably not perfect, to choose good people. And when you choose good people, they hopefully stay because they want to stay. That has been the hardest part of my job. I know it has. Long Island is job. famous for that. I've had several people come through the door who I thought were, that was it. That's it. And they stayed and, and they didn't sure stay. <laughs> and I asked some to leave. Some left unexpectedly, which threw us a curveball. Uh, so I'm always aware that it's a changing environment. I try to run a culture where they want to stay. But employees are employees. They're going to do what they think is best, no matter what I say to them. But I have their best interests at heart. And a matter of fact, I have one employee right now that I specifically told him yesterday that I'm here to teach you. I want you to grow with the company. I want you to run the department, but you need to learn to listen, and I'm trying to bring them yeah. along. So I really want to wrap my arms around my people so that they know that I have their best interests at heart and that they do stay. But you can't ever really control that. Well, if they follow simple steps, they'll get there. The problem with today is people think they're getting from A to B very quickly, and you know, with some of the longevity that we have, those of us here, that, look, it's a, it's a little bit of a journey, and it should be, because it makes it all the worthwhile when you get to the end of the journey. A lot of history here, a lot of wise words from Greg Demetrio of Lorraine Gregory Communications. Thanks for stopping by.